If you want to renumber or reorder instance marked parameters or any other parameters, you can do that automatically using Dynamo Player so you don't have to renumber all 200 windows manually. Let's open Dynamo Player and here we have script that you will learn how to make in this tutorial. At first you have to choose the category for the instance parameters, then you can add prefix or suffix. You can choose start number and a step. And here we have renamed all the light fixtures with LT. Now we will rename windows. Let's add WD as prefix, start number as one and step as one end. In one single click all the instance marks are renamed. So let's open Dynamo. And let's click on new file. First we have to pick a categories node. Let's pick a windows category, but you can change that later anytime. Right click on the node and set this as an input for the Dynamo player. Let's save the file. And this will be the file that will be imported into the Dynamo player later. Now we have to make a all elements of category node that will collect all instance elements of that category. If we run that, we can see that there is a list of elements. Next, we need to count that element list. Let's add list count. And it is always good to group your nodes. Let's group them and call that a collect. And next we need to add a number range. The end will be the list count. And for start, we need to add a integer slider. The difference between the number slider and integer slider is that numbers are decimal numbers and integers are the whole numbers. So we need integer slider. Let's rename that start number and also add that as an input. If you drag the node and click control key, you can duplicate that node. Let's rename that as a step and it will be also as an input for the Dynamo player. Now we need string from object because we need a string, not an integer range. So let's group that and rename that group to new list. And next we need a string node and the string node will contain a name for a parameter that we will gather from these instance elements. And the parameter name is mark because we want to set the values for the mark parameter for all the window instances in the Revit file. Next we need a node called element set parameter by name. Let's connect elements to elements, parameter name to parameter name and value to the string from object. Let's add a watch node and right click set this as an output to the dynamo player and you can see the list of all the window instances that has been affected by this node and let's group that and rename make changes return results and if you don't want prefix or suffix basically it's done it's already updating the mark values and if you want add prefix or suffix we need to add the string insert node connect string from object to string and for the index we'll add zero because we want a prefix then we'll add a string node that's going to be our prefix we have to set that as an input now let's group that and rename the group to prefix and again if you drag and click control you can copy the whole group now let's rename that to suffix and the input string is going to be the output from the prefix group now we need to index and the index is going to be the string length of the prefix group because we want to add a suffix to the end of the string Let's rename that to prefix. And this one is going to be suffix. And these both are going to be the inputs into the Dynamo player. And lastly, we need to connect the output from the suffix group to the value of the set parameter by name node. And we can clean up the node layout by right clicking on the group and picking clean up node layout. And at the end, you can click on the extensions menu and pick show graph properties. And there you can add a description and an image author name for all that information to show up in the Dynamo player. You can add an image. And this image is going to be whatever you want. In this case, a picture of my cat and this is going to show up in the dynamo player let's save that close this and open dynamo player and there you can add a folder there is the autodesk samples folder and when you click that folder icon you can add your own folder where your dynamo files are located and it will show up in the drop down menu and now you can see that this is fully functioning dynamo player graph and you can run that and update all the instant values in your Revit project. And I hope this tutorial helped and you learned something new. Have a great day and see you in the next video.